Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us as we bring you a musical journey of France, a land of culture, faith, and beauty. Our musical journey begins in the town of Chartres, where we hear the sounds of the great organ housed in the Queen of Cathedrals.
marvel of ethereal beauty filled with glorious light, color, and music, adorned with tapestries, painting, and sculpture, the Gothic cathedral was everything in the life of the people. The house of worship, the school, the library, art gallery, and theater. It was the very heart of the town, not only a house of the Lord, but also a house of the people. In our musical journey of France, we travel through Burgundy, where we visited the unique village of Baume and its nearby vineyards and chateau. Dieu, a marvel of Burgundian Flemish art, is found in the town of Bun. Founded as a hospital in 1443, its perfectly preserved medieval decor has survived intact. The roofs of the courtyard are covered with magnificent glazed tiles, arranged in striking geometric patterns, typical of this region of Burgundy.
noble dwellings were functional rather than decorative showpieces. Chateaux here are scattered about the countryside to be discovered one at a time. Six to seven centuries of household history you come face to face with at the bend in a river or a wooded country lane. In our musical journey of France, we travel through the picturesque region of Burgundy. On the way, we see fields and fields of beautiful golden sunflowers and vineyards. Rich with history, the ancient towns and villages are filled with gabled houses, massive cathedrals, castles, and monasteries. Here in the region of Burgundy, we find one of the most ancient basilicas in the town of Vézelay. The original church dates back to the 800s, but the present church was dedicated in 1104. The basilica, which looks over the beautiful countryside, reminds us of Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and all they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. <laughs>
On our way to the Ebermünster Monastery, we stopped in the village of Iguasheim, a colorful town of fun and hospitality. Alsace, one of the most important grape and wine-producing sections of France, once a year holds musical festivals in the various villages throughout the region. People in costume as well as visitors from around the world come to celebrate the joys of the land. of Alsace in France, among many things, is known for its churches, cathedrals, and monasteries. The famous Cathedral of Strasbourg, St. Martin's Church in Colmar, and the Abermünster Monastery located halfway between Strasbourg and Colmar. Within these magnificent churches are some of the most famous organs in the world.
beautiful abbey of Avermünster, France, we find one of the most famous organs of André Silbermann, which was built between 1730 and 1732. It contains 30 stops and four divisions. The Joy Music videotaping is one of the last performances which will be held on this organ before it is completely taken out of the church and restored. There are several interesting features about the organ. The first, of course, is that it is very difficult to play the action. Especially when the manuals or the keyboards are coupled together, which is done by pulling the second manual out or pushing it back. Then the notes on both of the keyboards play at one time. On this organ, the stops of the instrument are on both sides of the keyboards, as they usually are, but the sounds or the stops of the pedal are found underneath the keyboard. And the stops for the positive division, which is behind me, are also behind me, so the organist must reach behind and push in the stops or pull out the stops to activate them. We do hope that you enjoy the beautiful sounds of this Silbermann organ in the Abermünster Abbey. visiting the great cathedrals of the world and playing the majestic instruments, we are reminded of Psalm 150. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with the organ. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.